guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using drugstore makeup under $10 each. Now recently I have done a full face using products under $20 and under $15 and I thought I would challenge myself to go under $10. Now I didn't just want to go in with all of the same brand at Priceline, the cheapest brands are definitely Savvy and Essence. I did want to branch out a little, so I've got some e.l.f., Flower Beauty, Emco Beauty, Kmart makeup, and all of these products I truly love and enjoy using. So if you're excited to see what I've got here and how I'm going to do a full face of makeup using products that are under $10, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. For foundation, I'm going to be using the OXX Bloom Luminous Luxe Foundation. Now this is a Kmart brand, so within the range, there aren't very many shades. I'm pretty sure there's like six. I don't expect a lot from a Kmart brand, but six, look, you're gonna struggle to find a shade. I was surprised that they actually had a shade fair enough for me, and this is a pretty good match. Now, this foundation absolutely blew my socks off. I cannot believe this $7 foundation is so good. Okay, let's get into it, shall we? Now the pump is a little, um, like you, it's a little, how you going? Now I have the shade 1.1 Swan, and this is described to have a satin matte finish that's full coverage. Now I do agree that it is satin matte. It has the most beautiful finish. It looks so natural and healthy on the skin. It leaves a really nice glow. But the coverage, I would say, is more of a medium, which I don't actually mind. I think it looks really beautiful with just that medium glowy coverage. So this is what one layer looks like. As you can see, you can still see some of my blemishes. I am going to go in with a second layer. It does build up nicely, but still not to that full coverage. I'm really surprised at how long lasting this foundation is as well. I just, <laughs> I was not expecting this for such a cheap foundation. Now, besides this foundation, I really couldn't find much under the $10 price range. I looked through designer brands, cosmetics, BYS. Savvy does have some foundations. I haven't tried them and I don't have high hopes. I know W7 at Chemist Warehouse has some foundations, but again, I haven't tried any of them and my hopes aren't that high. Just the cheaper foundations, you know, they just, mm. but this came up one did prove me wrong. So if you've got any foundations under $10 that you love, leave them in the comments. All right, I know I look very washed out, but this is what the foundation looks like with two layers. Look at that glow, yes. <laughs> yes, Kmart, okay. Moving on to concealer. I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and this, oh, oh. Man, I've got some good products here. So e.l.f. had released their 16 hour camo concealer, which was super full coverage and had a matte finish. This one has a high coverage. I wouldn't say it's as full as the camo concealer, but it's a much more hydrating finish. I find the shades in this range as well run deeper than the 16 hour camo. So at the moment I'm using light ivory, which I'm enjoying using a deeper shade of concealer under the eye so that it blends into my skin tone and it doesn't look too bright and stark. If you find the really full coverage matte concealers to be too drying for your under eyes, then you will love this. It leaves a beautiful radiant finish. And as I said, it does have a high coverage. This is what one layer of the concealer looks like. Very natural. Oh. This concealer is only $10 as well. Such a bargain. I will have all the products I'm using listed down below in the description box with their price. So you can have a quick browse of that. 
Now for powder, I'm going in with the BYS Full Coverage Pressed Powder, and this is in the shade Ivory. I really like this powder. It sets my makeup in place for hours. The makeup doesn't budge underneath or start separating throughout the day. It's a nice, fair shade, and it does add that little bit of extra coverage as well. So I'm going to start with a smaller brush and just put a little bit under the eyes. And then in with a bigger fluffy brush, I'm going to lightly powder the rest of my face. When I'm applying powder, I always like to press it onto my skin, not rub it around because that way it doesn't move any of the makeup underneath. I'm just gently pressing it so that it's staying in place. Onto bronzing, which I clearly need to add some color back into my skin. I'm going in with the Essence Contouring Duo Palette, and this is in the shade 10 Lighter Skin. For some reason that cracks me up every time. So this palette comes with two different shades. The first one is a very, very light bronzing shade and this one is a little deeper. It has a very cool undertone which is perfect if you've got super fair skin like me. On most people, this probably wouldn't show up, but for me, I'm like, yes, what a perfect bronzer. So what I like to do is take majority of the light shade and a little bit of the deeper shade. And with an angled brush, I like to go back and forth to apply that bronzer. Getting the right bronzing shade is one of the many tricky things for fair skin. I always like to look out for something that is a little cooler in tone. It's not too warm and orange. And this is seriously perfect. I cannot believe that Essence have been so clever to create this. Usually the cheaper brands are making really orange bronzers that are just <laughs> not doing it. This palette was only $7.00. The formula is really nice too. Everything blends very easily. I don't get any patchiness at all. And I just cannot get over the tone of these shades. I also like to take a little bit of that lighter shade and just run it around my hairline. Now for blush, I have a few options. They are all liquid blushes though. First up, I have the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. And then I have the Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. So I think I'm going to go in with the Emco Beauty today. Now the Flower Beauty blush bombs are beautiful, but they're a very sheer formula. I like to use them when I'm going for more of a no makeup makeup look. They apply best with your fingers, so just tapping the blush onto the skin, it blends it beautifully. But as I said, a very sheer formula leaves a beautiful glowy look. The Emco Beauty is a bit more pigmented, so I'm going to go in with this. What I like to do is put it onto a palette, just a bit like that. I then just like to blend it out with my finger. To apply this, I like to use my Sigma Contour and Blush Brush. This is a duo fiber, so it's going to very lightly apply the cream product. What I like about this as well is that I can apply it over the top of powder and it doesn't pick up my makeup underneath. So just again, light tapping motions. And I just like to apply small layers at a time to build that color up and get that nice glowy flushed look. Yes. After applying my blush, I always like to go in with my sponge with no product on it and just kind of pat around the edges to make sure they are seamlessly blended. All right, for highlighter, I have two options here by Savvy. One is a powder, and this is the Mineral Baked Highlighter in the shade Pure Pearl. And the other one is a cream. So this comes in a blush highlighting duo, and it is the Cheek Duo in Rose and Shine. I am loving cream highlights lately, so I'm going to go in with the duo. Now you can use your finger, the bum of your sponge, or I like to use a brush sometimes as well. This little one here by Real Techniques is really nice. It's the setting brush. I think it's meant to be used for under eye powder, but it is synthetic, so you can use it with cream and liquid products too. So I'm just going to tap that in there. And then again, pat onto the cheeks. I just love that creams give such a glowy and real fresh look to the skin. 
Sometimes I can go a bit overboard with the powders, so I like that the creams do look a bit more natural. Before I go in with the eyes, I'm actually going to use another product by Savvy, and this is the Healthy Glow Mist. This one is quite new to my collection, but I have been digging it. So this is a hydrating facial mist that sets makeup in place and leaves the skin with a healthy glowing look. Again, I have just been all about this glowy look and I've been loving finishing sprays that leave a glowy look to the skin. How many times did I just say glowy look? Oh my God. So I didn't have high hopes for this one because it's a cheaper brand and I was like, mm, it's probably just full of glitter, but oh man, this leaves a beautiful sheen. I'm not gonna say glowy look, <laughs> sheen to the skin. Now the spritz is a bit, you know, it's not nice and soft and smooth, but let's watch this. Do you see that? Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> it does have a rose scent to it, which, you know, isn't my favorite, but for a $10 spray that leaves this much of a, you know what, to the skin. <laughs> Wow, I'm on another level today. For brows, I don't have a lot going on at the moment, so I'm going to start off with a brow gel to just tint any of the hairs so I have more of a stencil to work with. For this, I'm going in with the Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. I have the shade 01 Blondie Brows. I have repurchased this over and over again. It's a fantastic brow gel. It does have fibers in it, so it really makes your brows look thicker than what they are, which is <laughs> what I'm here for. And one of the things I love most about this and what I harp on about with all brow gels, <laughs> it's the tiny little wand. Look at that. So easy to use. I don't get gel all over my bloody skin. I like to brush against the hairs as well, just to make sure they're all coated and I'm getting the thickest, hairiest brow possible. And then for a brow pencil, I love a little micro brow pencil. They're nice and fine, easy to work with. I can draw in all these sparse areas without going overboard. So I'm using the BYS Brow Liner and I don't know what shade this is. I'd say it's like light or blonde. So when I do my brows, I like to start at the front, I draw underneath, and then I go in and fill in the arch. Before I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to prime my lids with the e.l.f. concealer that I used earlier. I like to go in with a small concealer brush like this, just to tidy up underneath my brows as well. And then I go in with this Sigma Precision Flat Angled Brush to pat out the concealer. You'll see how I do it. <laughs> And then I'll just take a bit of the pressed powder and set that. Okay, so I did just do one eye off camera because I like to see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm using the e.l.f. Bite Sized Eyeshadow Palette in Cream and Sugar. These palettes are super cute. They're only $7 and they come with pretty decent size pans. Now this palette, I wish the dark brown wasn't as dark because the rest of these shades are like <laughs> perfect for every day for me. They do have a ton of color stories though, so go online and check them out. And then I'm also going to be using the e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Flirty Birdie. These are only $10 and they are an amazing dupe for the Stila liquid glitters. They are a little bit smaller than them, but oh my God, they work beautifully. So I'm going to start out with this lighter shade and run it all through my crease. And then I'll take a tiny bit of the darker brown just to deepen up the outer corner and also slightly bring it through the crease. Thank you. 
And then going in with this copper shimmer shade and I'm going to put that all over the lid. Now, although the shimmer shades in the e.l.f. palette are beautiful and creamy and metallic, I want to take it up a notch. So I'm going in with the liquid glitter. Now you can just go ahead and apply this straight on the lid, but I do like to sheer it out a bit. So I'm just going in with a brush and I tap a little bit of the glitter onto the brush and then lightly tap that on my lid. And then for mascara, I have the BYS Lash Dimensions Waterproof Mascara. Now this one's really interesting because the wand has like this little spiky tip. It's really good for getting into the inner corner and also doing the lower lash line. And then lastly for lips, I have the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipstick in the shade Naked Blush. All right, this shade is a little more kind of like pink than I am going for with this look. So I'm just going to lightly tap some of the pigment off. And then I've got the Revolution Lip Topper here. I'm going to go in with the shade Exquisite. Mm, I'm not loving the lips, but whatever, you get the gist. All right, well, this is the finished look using products under $10. I hope you enjoyed watching today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. As I said, I will have all the products I've used listed down below in the description box, as well as my under $20 and under $15 videos. If you use any of these products, I would love to hear your thoughts down below and have a little chat about them. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. I will have my name on the screen right now. If you made it to the end of this video, then leave your favorite love heart emoji down below. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.